Alrighty. Well, there's the bed. What do you reckon all this is? Gap in there is filled up. A bit more reflectix. And that's actually another wooden panel. These are wooden panels that are backed by yeah, soaking insulation for a house with the occasional interspersion like here and here of a bit of reflectix and that would be my table which I still actually haven't got the wrap off <laughs> but I thought you know what it's going to go there and it might as well be a filling gap uh, now you might uh, that's one panel table this is one and that's one, but see, I'll sort of the reflectix is all the one piece, so they might actually be stuck together. Now, I still have the odd little bit I've got to fill up there. And there's a little bit of a gap over there too. I've got this stuff, which might or might not get used. And this stuff here. So I'm probably going to have to use the bigger stuff for, for this side, but there's just a tiny gap that you can barely even see on the top there. Um, but anyway, I'll show you the front version. This is essentially a vapor barrier because uh, if you sleep in your vehicle, so they reckon you get condensation on the inside of the windscreen. And to cops and other people looking at round at these sorts of things, it is very obvious <laughs> that someone's in the vehicle when there's condensation inside the vehicle. Also, because glass is a great way to lose heat, it, it's a bit different when you've got you know, a door because you've got, you know, maybe a bit of fabric or maybe not sort of fake fabric. I, th I think this is uncushioned fabric, fabric straight on plastic casting. But you've got that buffer between the steel and, you know, a non-metallic. And there's a bit of an insulation effect just by having an insulator like plastic or, or non-conductor rather, like plastic and a gap between it and the steel, whereas you, if your glass is not double glazed, you know, you lose a lot of heat. And this is a way as well to keep heat in during winter. And it's all nicely blacked out. Believe me, you need a little bit of skill to do this. And this may have taken uh, more than a day. So that there, in case you notice it, looking a little bit strange. Got a bit of a matte look to it, a bit of a crinkle look to it. It's actually uh, blackboard contact. So that's just plastic adhesive contact like you put on books, but you can actually write on it with chalk, and you can wipe the chalk off. And I actually tested it before. I will need to put a little bit of that under underside of the uh, <laughs> little table here to try and uh, yeah match everything in. But... Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's all worked out extremely well. Initially, I had to put a cushion in here to get this to hold to the side, but it's all holding to the side on its own now. Um, so, yeah, with basically one piece and then two pieces stuck together and then this table uh, that I should be able to disassemble and slot in between the, the seat and the end of the bed, uh, we've uh, successfully closed in uh, the... Uh, what's his name? The cabin from the rest, and uh, I will show you curtains probably in the next video. I've got to make up a little sock to hide this. Um, I'm probably going to, you know, put uh, more of this fabric up here and then make a sock to hide this. I might even put a slot, so, oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. Slot in the blooming in the headrest cover. So I've got to get on and make a headrest cover. I've still got to go and, yeah. I looked at a real seat cover. And uh, when I put one on the G6, and it, they're actually your top piece here, and that piece are joined together before you go to your strap. So I'm going to have to modify this. But anyway, this is it without the curtains. I'll show you the curtains because I have done the curtains uh, in the next video. And uh, talk a bit about some of the issues with those and some of the <laughs> successes and the steep, steep learning curve. <laughs>